My friends, have you ever stood in front of a magnificent sunrise witnessing the dawn with brilliant colors and felt a sense of awe? This awe is a glimpse of the wonder we experience when we invite God to prepare us to be faithful and true. Today we explore this profound prayer, Lord, prepare me to be faithful and true. If you believe God can make a difference in your life today, Let's stand firm in faith together. I will join you in praying a powerful prayer in the name of Jesus. So stay awake until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter 1.16 to be holy because I am holy. These words are not just a command, they are an invitation into a life of extraordinary depth and what it means to be holy is to be set apart to live in a way that reflects the goodness and purity of God, which is to be different not for the sake of being different, but to reflect the character of our Creator. Now see the word faithful is about consistency, reliability and dependability. It is about being someone that others can depend on just as we depend on God. Lou Psalm 16.10.1 reminds us that whoever is faithful in the least is also faithful in much, but and whoever is unjust in the least is also unjust in much. So if you are unfaithful in financial dishonesty, you will pledge your trust to true wealth. My friends, God has riches for us, but we must position our ways and our lives to receive them in a world where uncertainty often shakes our foundations. Loyalty is like a lighthouse that stands strong in the midst of a raging storm. And what about truth is truth is about being real, honest and authentic. It is about shedding the mask that we often wear and live be true to yourself, to others and to God. It is about living a life consistent with our deepest values and beliefs. Praying, Lord, prepare me to be holy and true faithful is a courageous prayer. It is a prayer that acknowledges that we cannot achieve these virtues on our own. We need God's help. Hoping for his strength and his guidance to mold us into these virtues. My friends, I call you to surrender your will and your ways to the mighty and benevolent God compassionate. God is faithful and just to forgive us all unrighteousness when we pray a prayer that God prepares for us, which is to say to God, I am here with all my shortcomings, my strengths and weaknesses. Shape me, shape me and use me according to your will. It is a humble acknowledgement that we are a work in progress and that we need the divine potter to shape us into suitable vessels for him to use as we pray. Holy Spirit, we are asking to become more like Jesus. We are expressing a desire to love deeper, to show greater compassion, and to walk in integrity and righteousness. It is a journey transformation brings us closer to God's heart. Praying for faithfulness is asking for strength to be steadfast in our walk with God, which is about being steadfast in faith, unwavering in commitment, and faithful in our relationship with our Heavenly Father. Faithfulness is what keeps us attached to God no matter what life brings to claim authenticity, which is the desire to live a transparent and authentic life, free from pretense and hypocrisy. It is about being real in our relationship with God and with others creating a life that truly reflects our identity in Christ as we embrace this prayer. Lord, prepare me to be faithful and holy people. Let us draw near to you with open hearts and willing spirits, ready to transform, ready to grow and ready to let you use in ways we never imagined. May we be inspired to connect and be purposeful towards a deeper, more meaningful relationship with our Creator. Let us pray together with open minds and hearts to experience the transforming love and grace of Jesus Christ, Savior. Now to all who hear my voice, we let's go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to listen to this prayer as you build your faith and say yes 
Let's pray to God. Our kind and loving Heavenly Father, I am the creator of the universe and the source of all holiness. I come before you to marvel at your majesty. Your works are wonderful and your power is matchless, Lord. You are our salvation, our source of strength and renewal we. I praise you for you are the almighty King of kings and Lord of lords. Your greatness is beyond understanding and your love is deeper and higher than anything we can measure measure in this moment of prayer. I thank God for his unfailing love, his mercy and grace. Thank you for the blessings you have showered on me for the air I breathe, the life I live, and that the hope I have is in you. I admit my faults and failures. I ask your forgiveness for the times I have failed to live up to your holy standards. Forgive me, Lord, and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In the same spirit, I forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all bitterness and resentment, because I know that forgiveness sets my heart free, creating within me a pure heart, O Lord, and renew the spirit of righteousness within me so that I may walk in your holiness and truth. I ask you, Father, to prepare me for holiness as you are holy. Help me to live a life pleasing to you that reflects purity and righteousness, a life that invites grace and riches in your glory. May my thoughts, words, and actions bring honor to your name, mold me and guide me in your ways, so that I may be a beacon of your light in this world. Let my life be a testament to your transforming power that draws others to you. Embrace your merciful Lord. Give me the grace to be faithful in every situation, in times of joy and in times of trial. May my faith in you always be steadfast. Help me to believe in your promises and look forward to rely on God's strength. Let the Holy Spirit help me to be a trustworthy witness of your faithfulness. Demonstrate consistency in my walk with you. Strengthen me, Lord, that I may be able to stand firm in the face of the storms of adversity or anchored in God's truth and love. Lord, guide me to be truthful in my words and actions. Let honesty and authenticity mark my interactions, helping me to speak truth, love and act with integrity. May I may my life reflect your truth and may I be sincere in my faith. Full transparent before you and others in a world where the truth is often distorted. Let me be a clear voice for his righteousness and justice. I pray for wisdom and discernment in every decision. Lead me on the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Guide my steps so that I can choose wisely and live according to your will. Open my eyes to see your guidance and open my ears to hear your voice in every choice I make. Can I seek your guidance first with faith that your plan is for my good and your path leads to life, Heavenly Father? I pray for a righteous heart to help me live a life that is consistent with my faith, where my actions are consistent with my beliefs, strengthening me to be a person of my word worthy of trustworthy and honest. Let my life reflect your faithfulness, show others the stability and security of living for you, as I recite this prayer with everyone listening. I am grateful for every heart humbled before you now. We agree knowing that you are among us as you promised. We are united in prayer, lifting each other up to seek his face together in collective prayer offering to him as incense the sweet fragrance of our common faith and hope. Faith and hope in you for all of us, Lord. I ask for your blessings, healing and protection. May your merciful hand rest upon each of us, guide us, shield and provide for us. I rebuke any form of attack from the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the forces of darkness that seek to harm us, and declare victory over every challenge we face. May your Holy Spirit fill us with strength and wisdom to guide us in all truth. I lift up my loved ones to you. 
I pray for your blessings, your protection and guidance for them also. May they experience your abundant love and grace. Protect them from harm. Provide for their needs and draw them closer to you. May their lives be a testimony of your goodness and faithfulness. Lord, our lives are in you. Hands for you is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray amen if you are blessed by this prayer. Type the word amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are upon you now, in the name of Jesus. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with friends or family members, and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to the channel Our Bible in Life for more videos that bless your heart and lift your spirit. You are so blessed to be a blessing. Please leave your prayer requests in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victories, and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and around the world can join us and start praying for you. Right now, keep the faith with us as we pray. To God be all the glory, Jesus' grace, and peace. Our Lord be with you all.